Hi, welcome to Books with Laura. Today we are looking at Usborne's Sea and Side Inventions book. It has over 60 flaps to lift. Make sure that you subscribe if you'd like some more children's books in your lives, especially from Usborne Books. Um, so let's take a look at this one. It has about 15 pages, but even though it seems like a short book, it's packed full of information about inventions how inventions are invented. Some inventions are a combination of existing ideas. Lots of inventions come about when an inventor is inspired by a recent discovery. So like all of Usborne's nonfiction flat books, it's packed full of information, but still kind of presented in a way that has like these bite-sized chunks of information. So kids don't get overwhelmed by all of the information especially with these sea inside books. As you can see, um, it has kind of longer paragraphs, smaller text size. So it's these uh, sea inside Usborne books are typically geared more towards older kids, maybe about ages eight and up. That's not to say that um, younger kids can't enjoy these. My son always does too, but maybe more for independent reading. That level is more uh, for older kids, just FYI. So here's flying machines, hot air balloons. Look at all these cool ones. <laughs> Electricity and light. There we go. I'm not sure if this one is still sold in the US. I can try to post my Amazon um, affiliate link below if you uh, cannot find it. Oh, come on, little guy, here we go. It's about wires and sound. So the telephone, electrical telegraph, wireless sound. So here's a radio and recording sounds seeing things you got little glasses and you move them over microscopes x-rays let's see fighting disease smallpox was caused by a microscopic creature known as a virus what's great is that you can take this book and really do a bunch of different scientific uh, experiments with your kids at home, kind of working off of uh, these different inventions. So your kids can be inventors at home. Boom, mixing together certain chemicals can cause explosive reactions. And sometimes that's exactly what people want. So here's gunpowder, dynamite, atomic explosions, rockets. I find that books like this are also a great way to see the kinds of things that your kid um, is interested in and the kinds of things that they continuously go back to or want to discuss. So if you find that maybe your kid continuously just wants to focus on the rockets, then you know, okay, my kid's interested in rockets, so let's get different books that focus on rocket ships. I know Usborne has a bunch of them. Um, I know we also have some uh, germs books or um, books about fighting germs and what are germs, um, how do we see. Uh, we have a music book as well if your kids are interested in music and sound. We have lots of science books. And then making pictures. Ooh. Okay, so that's it. That is the Esborn Sea Inside Inventions book. Thanks for watching.